time, I'm telling you, there ain't nobody here by that name. But I, I wrote to Sally here just last week. There must be some mistake. You bet there's a mistake, Grandpa. And you're making it. Now get out of here and leave me alone yes, before I forget that you're an right. old man. And after the clerk threw me out, I decided to employ a private detective. I got your name from the phone book, Mr. Hammer. Huh? I see. So it's been uh, 15 years since you've seen this uh, Sally Bryant? Back in Salt City. That's in South Dakota. Uh, Sally was traveling with a carnival that came to town. She took sick when the show was in Salt City, and, well, when it moved on, she was left behind, sort of stranded. Stranded? Uh, go on, go on. Well, the late Mrs. Bates ran a boarding house, and Sally was staying with us when she got sick, and well, we couldn't turn her out just because she didn't have any money. Mm -hmm. So, after she got well, she stayed on, helping my wife around the house, sort of to repay us. She was so pretty, nice, and so unspoiled. Who, Mrs. Bates? No, no, Sally. Oh, well, Mrs. Bates was a... a yeah, I, I think I begin to see the picture. Well, I'm not sure you do, Mr. Hammer. You see, Sally and I were... We were just friends. Sure. She was so sweet and kind. Uh, so this uh, Sally was uh, living with you, is that right? But she left Salt City right after the funeral. I haven't seen her since. So why do you want to find her after all these years? Because I'm dying. Oh, it's all right. I I'm reconciled to it. The doctor gives me a year, two at the most. And I guess this trip to find Sally is, well, I, I just don't know how to put it. it, it it's sort of a, a... A sentimental journey. I guess you could describe it like that. Yeah. What happens if I find the girl? I want to give her this check. $20,000. Why? Well, that doesn't matter now, not after all these years. Will you find her for me, Mr. Hammer? Sounds fascinating. I told the old man I'd do what I could. His only lead to Sally was the Central Hotel. The Central called itself a theatrical hotel. I knew it for what it really was. His reputation smelled as bad as the cheap disinfectant it used. Okay, okay, I get the message. What are you, a Swiss bell ringer or something? So? So I'm looking for a woman. Any woman in particular, or will you take potluck? That's very funny. I'm looking for Sally Bryant. Hey, now look. I just went all through yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, I know, I know. The little guy you gave the bums rush to. Well, he was making a fool of himself. Well, just don't you make the same mistake. Now, what about Sally Bryant? What about a wise guy? When I want a clip from you, mister, I'll ask for it. Are you the manager of this fish ladder? No. Who is? I am. What can I do for you? Now, he's another one who's been asking about some dame named Sally Bryant. Not just another one, Buster. Here. Yeah. My camera. I'm Bonnie Weed. This is my husband. Husband? <laughs> Come on in. So what gives, anyway? This joint become the Missing Persons Bureau or something? Yes, yeah, suppose you never heard of Sally Bryant, either. That's right, never That's have. Never have. But she got her mail here as recently as a week ago. Who says? My client says. What does he want with her? Now, what's that to you? I was just asking. But if it's a big secret, forget it. <laughs> Go on, get out of here. I'm busy. Go on, get out of here. So 
what's on your mind? Sally Bryant. You too, huh? Uh-huh. And the old man talked about her. I wrote it off. Figured he was just confused. Well, what changed your mind? That private detective. He ain't confused. Take my advice, Duke. Forget about Sally Bryant. Who is she, Bunny? I told you to forget her. I got a right to know. You got a right? Listen, you freeloading bum. The day you start doing some work around here or paying some of the bills around here, we'll talk about your rights. Did you ever use the name Sally Bryant? Look, uh, I'm warning you, Duke. Did you? No. You're a liar. Come on. Hit me. I'd like you to do something to me just once to prove you're a man. You haven't got the guts of an angle worm. Okay, so a dame changes a name, so what? Take me, I've had four or five different names. Yeah, sure. But you ain't hiding the fact. Do, honey, you forget. I don't make my living hiding things. Hey, come on. Be serious. Serious delirious. So what if Bonnie really is this Sally Bryant? All right, then why won't she admit it? She's your wife. Ask her. Oh, not again. Ginger, baby, sweetie, listen. Bonnie is Sally Bryant. I'm positive. So I still say, so what? So? Maybe this is our chance to make ourselves a stake and blow this flea bag. If we could find out what she's hiding, and then black her with it. Interested? Are you sure you got the nerve to put the arm on Bonnie if we do get something on it? Of course. What do you want me to do? Sit down. I just want to talk. Good. Because I just want to listen. It was hard to think about Sally Bryant, but Bonnie Weed was another matter. There was something as wrong about her as a U-turn in the Holland Tunnel. I had a hunch what it was, but Oliver Bates was the only one who could tell me for sure if I was right. Remembering the look on his face when he talked about Sally, I hated to call him. Mr. Hammer? Well, hello there. Well, come on in, honey. It's cold out there. I hear you're looking for Sally Bryant. Well, no. Why did you ever get that idea? News gets around. Yeah, it sure does. You see, I know where Sally is. Honest, Injun? But I'm not going to tell you. Oh. Well, thanks for dropping around and letting me know you're not going to tell me. Unless I know why you're looking for her. Oh, no, 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 honey. I can't do that. i got to let my client tell you that. Why can't you tell me? Well, I could, but I think it would be more fun if he did. Don't be too sure, Mike. <clears throat> You know, honey, you gotta be very careful. You know, with you, a chest cold could be a very serious matter. <laughs> so tell me, what's your name, honey? They call me Ginger. Snap. Uh. The cool cookie from Kokomo. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. When I work. Which lately has been a lot less than sometimes. So, so tell me, um, what do you want to tell me where uh, Sally is? I told you what I want. To know why you're looking for her. Well, why do you want to know that? Well, I want to make sure I'm not getting her into any trouble by telling you. Well, you wouldn't. You say. Yeah, I say that's all I'm going to say. <laughs> 
If you think that I'm going to tell you something that you can use to bleed Sally with... To bleed Sally? I don't know what you mean. <laughs> uh, you're about as subtle as a kick in the pants. Which is just what you're going to get if you don't get out of here right now. Wait a minute, Mike. How much would it be worth to know where Sally is? To me? Not a crying dime. You're a client, then. Well, I really don't know. I'll have to ask him. Do that. I'll keep in touch with you. Oh, uh, think it over, Mike. It could be a lot of fun, if you know what I mean. <laughs> I don't want to wait for my own funeral. Ginger Snap's visit confirmed my hunch about Sally, who she was and where she was. But what I didn't know was what she was, what she'd done that had made Ginger think she could blackmail her. Instead of telephoning Bates, I went to see him at his hotel. I've told you everything I know, Mr. Hammer. No, not quite everything. For example? Well, for example, how'd your wife die? You been in touch with somebody in Salt City? No. No, but I could be very easily. Now then, Mr. Bates, you got something you want to tell me, or should I put a call in to Salt City, huh? No, no, that won't be necessary. I'll tell you. No reason why I shouldn't. My wife died in an accident. An accident? What kind of an accident? She tripped on a worn-out piece of carpeting in our house. It was at the top of a steep flight of stairs. She fell, breaking her neck. She died instantly. Mm -hmm. Go on. Sally was in the house alone with my wife at the time, and, well, there was some talk around town that Sally pushed my wife down the stairs. Yeah, but you didn't believe that, did you? No, of course not. No one did. But, you know, in a small town, gossip's a favorite pastime. Why, Sally couldn't hurt anyone. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you know, I don't suppose that I could talk you into going back home, could I, Mr. Bates? Without finding Sally? Mm hmm Well, why would you want to? <laughs> Now, 15 years a long time, people change. Sometimes it's better to remember them as they were. Have you found her, Mr. Hammer? Well... You know where Sally is? Yeah, I know. Then I want to see her. Well, now, Mr. Bates... Look, I, I want to see her. Well, okay, that's what you hired me for. Let's go. Okay, so I didn't get anything out of Hammer, so what? The guy's no jukebox, you drop a nickel in, push a button and get the tune you want. Boy, this Hammer's smart. And I think he suspects who Bonnie really is, so we gotta move fast. Move? Move how? What do we got to move on? You said you were positive that Bonnie is the Sally Bryant. But we still don't know why she's hiding it. So who cares? Look, if she's Sally, she's hiding something. We already know that much. That's all we need to put the squeeze on her. Oh, yeah? Now, what if she ain't that Sally Bryant? Then back to the drawing boards. We haven't lost anything. Well, maybe you haven't, but I have. Look, honey, why do you think I married that tugboat Annie? Why do you think I stuck with her when she turns my stomach every time I look at her? For crumbs? For the few bucks that I've been able to work her for? Oh, no, no. She's got important dough stashed away, and I want a nice solid chunk of it when I check out of this flop. I knew you wouldn't have the nerve to stand up to her. So you just stay here and rot. Whoa, 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 whoa. Wait a minute. Where are you going? Guess. You keep away from Bonnie, you hear? You'll ruin everything. Yeah, well, that's tough. <laughs> Listen, Bonnie, Ginger and I... I know just... what you and Ginger would just... <laughs> and I've known about it all along. You never fooled me. Not for a minute. Neither one of you. You may have thought you did. But you didn't. Now, listen, Bonnie... Shut up! Duke's never fooled me. You're not the first one. And you won't be the last one. But I don't worry about your kind. Because I got the one thing that Duke likes better than anything you can give him. Dough. A big, fat bank account. And that's the thing Duke likes better than anything. Ain't it, Duke? <laughs> Ain't it, Duke? <laughs> Shh. 
Sure it is. All I gotta do is rattle a change purse. Duke comes running. I'm getting out of here. Where do you think you're going? Ronnie, let her go. To that private detective to tell him I'm Sally Bryant? I wouldn't tell him. Not much you wouldn't. I let you out that door and you go straight to Hammer. No, I wouldn't. I promise, Bonnie. Please, please let me go. Well, sure I will. Drag me back to that hick town. Why not? What are you afraid of? Shut up, Duke. Mind your business. Get rid of her. And this, too. No. You're crazy. I don't want any part of this. You got a part of it, whether you want it or not. A 50 50 slice right down the middle. This is one time we're partners. Put her in there. When it gets dark, take it down the back way to the car and dump her someplace. The river, the bay, anywhere. I can't do it, Bonnie. You're gonna do it, Duke. From now on, it's you and me together for keeps. Because anything that happens to me happens to you, too. If I get caught, they can swap the chair for a love seat. Take this. It's yours. <laughs> got to the central, I made Bates wait outside. I was still trying to stall a reunion between Bates and Sally, and I knew it. What I didn't know was what I hoped to gain. It would have to come sooner or later. Hey, Pop. Is Bonnie, we is Bonnie Weed in? No. No. But she'll be back in a few minutes. Uh -huh. Hey, what do you think you're doing? Just keeping you honest, Pop. I told you she wasn't here. Yeah, yeah, I heard you the first time. Where is she? I don't know. You don't know. All right, what about Duke? Where's he? I don't know. Yeah, one more question. Ginger Snap. It, Ginger's uh, gone. She's gone. Uh, gone where? I don't know. You don't know. Uh, you wouldn't waltz me now, would you, Pop? I'm not. I'm not. All I know is I went out to get some dinner, and when I come back, Duke, Duke told me the Ginger checked out. Checked out. Checked out. Checked out where? I don't know. You don't know. Uh, what's the room number? I don't know. You don't know. <laughs> What's the room number, Pop? <laughs> 219. 219. Huh? Second floor. Second floor. <laughs> doing here, Ham? Looking for Ginger? She's gone. Yeah, yeah, I, I know. The man downstairs said that she checked out. Yeah, I guess she has. Permanently. But you don't seem very surprised. It's gonna take a lot of explaining, Buster. Maybe. Maybe not. What do you mean, maybe, maybe not? What do you mean? You're gonna use that knife on me, huh? You stay right where you are, Hammer. You know, you're a fool, Duke. Killing Ginger to protect Bonnie when you knew that she was Sally Bryant. 
We don't know anything about any Sally Bryant. How many times do I have to tell you? You can't count that high. On you, you're making a mistake of your life, Buster. Castani, you killed. You killed Ginger. No, Bonnie did it. Why she killed Ginger? I swear. I saw her do it. I was here. I'm not lying. It's the truth. I tried to stop her, but I couldn't do anything about it. You don't know that thing. She ain't human. You just don't know. I don't know. Huh? Well, then introduce me. Get up. Call Captain Pat Chambers a homicide. Tell him to get over here quick. Mike Hammer wants him here. Now! Uh, yes, sir. Funny in there? Yeah, she came in with Duke. Huh? Sally, is she here? Look, Mr. Bates, Sally isn't the way you remember her. And if she ever was, she's changed. Including her name. Her name's now Bonnie Weed. Why? She had nothing to be afraid of, not for me. Yeah, well, Sally's killed again. Listen, your wife's death wasn't an accident, was it? Was it? She accused Sally of stealing some jewelry. Just cheap stuff, not worth a thing. But that's the way my wife was, Mr. Hammer. She was the most cruel, selfish woman I've ever known. Anyway, she and Sally argued. They, they were at the top of the stairs, and Sally pushed her. You saw it all? But you never told Sally. When she killed my wife, she did what I'd wanted to do for years. Look, Mr. Bates. I, I don't know why you remember Sally the way you do, but you do. So why don't you just leave it at that? Turn around and go on. Go on back home. Back to Salt City. Thank you. 